So we're at the front door, Suite 150, the Cradle of Manifestation. And right when you walk in here, I'm really proud of my wall of inspirational quotes. Um, the middle one, Be the Change, is my favorite. It's the one that I remember. It's very similar to Martha Beck's quote, you've got to live it to give it. So we all want to change the world, but we need to really start with changing ourselves. And i got some other ones here, a little waiting area, my mantra believe. Here's another favorite. Those who wish to sing always find a song. And how perfect for the music within us. And my wish and intention to help all of you um, find your own song. This is also about turtle steps, that a journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step. And that's just to remind us of action and that um, we keep our big goals in mind and our grand visions and then we keep just taking those little steps the very next step that's right in front of us and we're pointed in the right direction and um, that's what we need to do and then finally this one's a little bit hard to see but very appropriate for the quote faith is daring the soul to go beyond what the eyes can see and wow, is that one that I'm living with right now. Because as I look around this space, and I'll just kind of pan around, it's this beautiful space. Brought some warmth into it with some floor lighting. Um, and you notice that I've got some pictures on the wall, you'll see from my previous business. So those were pictures of my students. Those two photos that you see on the wall or items on the wall are artifacts from different events that I had with them. There's our entrance again. And I've got some all of the Christmas cards that I had made each year with um, pictures of my students and my inspirational words on there. But um, this is my challenge right now, which is to envision this space as something else other than what it's been and what other than what it is today. And what reassures me is that every time I walk into this space, I'm still inspired. Let me just turn this around. I'm still very inspired every time I come in here, and especially with the sounds that I brought in here and the lighting and the quotes that I put on the wall. It's, it's still a very um, special place for me. I feel inspired, and so I still totally believe that there's an opportunity to inspire others by bringing them here and hosting the right kinds of events. And my challenge is I realized by looking at all these old photos on the wall is that maybe I haven't completely let go. Maybe there's a part of me that still feels that this place is indebted to my old self that built the business that brought me here. And definitely that's a thought that I have. And that somehow by taking down all of these artifacts that it negates that accomplishment or takes away from the joy that I had at the time when I initially created the school. Um, and what occurred to me after just reading that quote is this journey of life is really all about seeing beyond what's right, what's material and what our eyes can see. And it's seeing with our heart, seeing with our ears and our, our inner listening and having that vision to go beyond what's already here. So I actually did take the step of taking down some of the items earlier today. There used to be a big photo, a large poster-sized photo of me and all of my students right in this initial wall. And today I just took it down. And I didn't have anything to replace it with. I'm just leaving an open space there. And I'm noticing that that feels a little bit uncomfortable to me. 
to leave something empty. But I think it's a good practice for me right now in this space. And as I'm thinking about it, uh, having that empty space may be exactly what I need to envision what's next in here and not to have to rearrange everything around what was existing, but to really be able to start from scratch. Um, so I'm going to stop here.